Hello and welcome to Techie Chap. In today's episode, I'm going to be continuing my trend of looking at low end systems that can run on my Dell Precision M4500 that has the M560 i5 processor in there. It's a 12 year old laptop. It's on its last legs. So I'm taking a look at systems that could possibly revive it. This time I'm going to be taking a look on the Linux side of things and see what they offer. Last time I was looking at FreeBSD and we took a look at the Enlightenment desktop. And this time we are going to be looking at an Ubuntu variant called LXLE. And in fact, on the LXLE website, it says revive that old PC. And that's definitely what we want to do here. The LXLE environment is essentially a Linux kernel with LXDE and repositories linked into Ubuntu. So let's find out how I got on after the intro. So here we are. This is the LXLE desktop environment and it's a pretty nice impression after installation. It utilizes the Calamari's installer, which is very straightforward and more or less used as standard uh, nowadays for most Linux in installs. The uh, panel up the top here is pretty well featured. So you have a tasks manager up here. You can lock your screen. Uh, you've got a volume controller here, very basic volume controller, the OBS indicator, and also wireless was uh, detected as well uh, during the installation. One unusual thing <clears throat> I would point out about the installation is read the README um, before you actually install to hard drive, and you'll find that it does recommend for a smooth install to unplug your network connection and not be attached to the internet. I did make that mistake on first installation and I found that uh, the install actually hung uh, about three quarters of the way through. So upon restarting the install and actually reading the file uh, that is there on the desktop when you boot from the live USB, um, it did say to take out the network connection uh, before trying to install to hard drive. So I did that and installation was very smooth. Also up here on the uh, on the on the taskbar or on the panel top panel, we have a nice little calendar. We've got a pretty decent little weather forecast system that I actually really quite like. It's quite quite stylish. Um, that's really nice. Um, you've got the time indicator here. Um, along here on the left hand side, uh, you've got something called Quick Launch. You've got Sakura, which is the terminal. Uh, that's where your terminal is, and that uh, looks fairly nice, very basic, but quite nice. You can also quickly choose a different wallpaper, and that's how quickly it changes. There's lots of wallpapers included with LXLE. Um, it does say on the website there are 100 wallpapers pre-installed. That's a nice way of quickly switching wallpaper if you get a bit bored. Um, there is also a nice file manager up here. So left clicking on it will essentially open this menu up and then you can choose where to go. You can also choose to open it in terminal as well, which is pretty nice. Closer look at the file manager and it's PC man FM 1.3.1 as the file manager. And PC Man File Manager is OK, um, very, fairly fully featured in terms of File Manager. There is a preferences section, um, so you can choose to change the behavior if you're more used to a KDE single click environment. Um, you can choose the size of the icons, uh, always show the tab bar, so you can have multiple tabs uh, up and running there. Um, yeah, it's pretty fully featured as a file manager and actually nice to see an alternative file manager being used. I'm so used to seeing things like 
uh, Nemo or Dolphin or Thunar. Um, it's nice to see a different file manager being used. Clicking here on the left will bring you to your main menu where the applications are located. And as you can see, we've got LXLE Help here, which will launch the browser. And the browser is uh, LibreWolf. Now, LibreWolf is a fork from Firefox, but it's focused on privacy. Um, whilst we're here, we can take a look at LXE.net. Now, also, it's worth noting uh, whilst we're doing this is that the resources being used are fairly low, it has to be said. I mean, 1.18 gig of 7.76 gig is being used in this browser, LibreWolf, and uh, we're using uh, around about 70% CPU in each of these threads. So it's actually doing not too bad. Um, we've got three tabs open here as well, so that's that's pretty good. Also, obviously, I am recording the desktop in full HD and recording my audio as well. So, yeah, let's take a look at the LXE website. It says that it's light on resources, heavy on functions, always based on Ubuntu, Lubuntu LTS, uses an optimized LXDE user interface, Simple, elegant, and familiar desktop UI, prudent, full featured apps pre installed, etc. etc. Theme consistency throughout system. I like the idea of that. And there is also a 32 bit and 64 bit version available. If we go to Soapbox, which is kind of their news, and uh, you can see that this is when this particular LXLE was released on May the 26th of this year, LXLE Focal. And you can see the uh, issues addressed. Re they've replaced a few applications. So they've replaced CMonkey browser with LibreWolf. I think LibreWolf has better compatibility uh, with things like YouTube, etc. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty decent. Um, and they've also put LibreOffice on here as well. So you also have AppGrid installed, which is an interesting software manager. Uh, we'll take a look at that shortly. TLP uh, Power Manager. Now, that's actually really nice to see that that was installed. And I was actually able to change uh, this laptop from balance to performance mode uh, as well to really give this desktop um, a good test on this laptop. And my experience so far of it is it really is running quite smoothly. I'm quite pleased with the way this is running. Um, yeah, pretty good, uh, particularly given that I'm recording this desktop and uh, recording my audio as well. Um, there's a little bit here on LXLE, what it is. Um, it's designed to be a drop-in and go OS primarily for aging computers. Well, 12 years old, I think this laptop um, ticks that box, certainly. Then LXDE, which is what LXLE runs as a window manager. Um, here you see it's got, uh, it says it needs less resources, component based design, and a familiar experience as well. And you can find out more there. So, yeah, really, really nice experience so far. You also have a bottom panel here. Uh, you've got your spaces. Um, and you can move your spaces around. You can quickly switch to your different spaces and it gives you a nice workspace switcher as you switch between the uh, workspaces so that you know which desktop you are on. Also down here, you can iconify all windows, middle click to sh shade them, or you can use something called Expose and that brings all the windows up like that. Uh, you can also see your running applications down here. As you can see, I'm running Sakura and OBS currently. Um, going back to the other applications available in here, um, you do get Audacity, Blanket, uh, can't quite say that, Guaya Deck Music Player, uh, GUC, 
GUVC view handbrake uh, interestingly if you click on a video file it will launch handbrake by default I've gone ahead and installed OBS studio OBS studio is installed using the synaptic package manager and of course this is based on the apt package manager given that it's based around Ubuntu. You do get simple screen recorder by default and VLC media player, as well as XF burn for burning those old CDs and DVDs. A few little games, which is quite nice. Graphics, document scanner, document viewer, GNU image manipulation program, simple image reducer, really handy if you are working with websites and you need to downscale a JPEG image or another image so that it's not so big. And view Nile, which is a image viewer for your photographs and other images. Internet, we have Claws Mail, LibreWolf, uh, something to do with RSS feeds and things like that, Lifiria, uh, Transmission and Utox, a lightweight Tox client. Office, we have Bookworm, Character Map, Home Bank, LibreOffice, Mate Dictionary, and Osmo for a personal organizer. Clicking on Control Panel here, uh, we can see that we've got options for hardware, uh, access. Uh, if we go to software, you can do, quickly check on and install updates. You've got the Synaptic Package Manager. Let's just click on that. All right, the Synaptic Package Manager. Um, if you are a Linux user, you certainly will probably know this package manager fairly well. Um, you can quickly search for uh, an application in here. So if we do a search for Caden Live, and then when you want to install it, you just right click that, mark for inst installation. It will say, you, say if there's extra bits that need to be marked for installation. And then you click apply and it will go off and install that application and your application will then appear in the application menu up here uh, depending on what category it it goes in um, app grid if we just launch that app grid is uh, quite an interesting um, application browser so you can see here you get instant previews of the applications it has things like uh, the top applications and things like that um, it's it's quite a nice application browser and then when you find something that you want to install let's just pick any of these things uh, you can just click on install and away you go so that's quite nice that that is included so overall, so far with LXLE desktop, I'm quite impressed. It runs really smoothly on my Dell Precision M4500. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to try and run a similar test on here to the one I ran on the free BSD review running the Enlightenment desktop. So I'm going to try it with LibreWolf. Um, so it is definitely not apples for apples here that we are comparing. Um, this is really just to see um, a, a comparison really of the resource used when doing things that most users would do. Uh, well, I say most users, um, some a lot of users would do, which is to say, for example, go to YouTube. Um, and say for example go to reddit and what we're going to look at here is down here we're going to look at the memory usage uh, we're going to take a look and see how much memory is being used and how the cpu fares up here i'll be bringing up the freebsd screenshot of the same test however running in firefox so as you can see youtube has come up reasonably rapidly we've gone up to 1.34 gig of memory being used so far um, cpus aren't really matched out but uh, they are they are just about managing okay and then if we do a search for reddit and uh, just to also explain again that as a test on the free BSD review with Enlightenment desktop, 
um, I ran YouTube and Reddit in a tab in in tabs in Firefox. This time I'm doing it with LibreWolf uh, in tabs on LXLE. So we've got two tabs open. We have Reddit open. We had YouTube open. They have opened fairly well. No errors or anything like that. That's great. Um, but we are using 1.52 gig of RAM out of the 7.76 gig of RAM available. There is a 2 gig swap file uh, there as well. In terms of CPU usage, uh, I can hear the fans how I have started going inside my laptop. But we are still actually running quite well. Uh, we're sort of 70, 70 to 80% on these tabs. So actually, application management is pretty good. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that, actually, even though the memory usage is, I think, far more than what FreeBSD running the Enlightenment desktop would be. What I do like, however, about the LXE desktop is the fact that it does have a consistent look. And that's one of the things it highlights on its website is that it has a consistent look and feel. It also runs fairly well. OK, in this case, not as well as FreeBSD with Enlightenment, it has to be said, but it certainly does run very well. And I like these little uh, niche sort of applications like this that tell me what the weather is in this nice sort of terminal style. I think that's really nice. Um, I like the fact that all the tools you need to get started and up and running are included. Uh, LibreOffice is there. In fact, if we just launch LibreOffice, let's take a look at that. It's taking a little while to start LibreOffice. This is the first time I've clicked on it, so it could be uh, uncompressing. It does have a neat little watch icon whilst things are opening here. Um, hopefully this will open fairly shortly. Touch wood, he says. No, it's not opened yet. <laughs> Whilst we're waiting for that to open, uh, there is the option here to uh, add uh, an extra uh, panel or application launch and taskbar if you want as well. Uh, and you've got a choice here of things that you can add. So you can add extra panels in there as well. OK, so for some reason, OpenOffice doesn't seem to have, uh, sorry, LibreOffice doesn't seem to have opened. Uh, I'll just try again. Oh, there we go. It has finally opened. That did take some time. <laughs> and if I click on Write a Document, however, after that first click, it does seem to be running OK. Now, let's take a look at the version of LibreOffice that's included. Yeah, very recent, 7.3.3.2. Uh, as you can see, the 2022 release of LibreOffice. So that's great. Uh, just for the benefit of the doubt, I'm just going to open that again. I think the first time I clicked it, um, it probably needed to expand and sort of install LibreOffice properly. Um, now, obviously, that's been done. And now I, when I click on it, it opens fairly rapidly. So that looks like it's actually fine now. Right, so overall impressions of LXE Desktop. I'm pretty impressed. Um, I will be giving this a review score, which uh, for me, given that this is tailored towards older laptops and can revive older laptops, can be used for that purpose. And it certainly uh, is working well on my M4500 here. I've got to give it a three and a half out of five. Um, if you were running an old laptop and you needed a laptop to work on, then that score would be higher because this uh, release of LXLE desktop certainly is uh, pretty, pretty good. So that's been my review of LXE, LXLE desktop. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please click on like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.